what are some of the major topics that can actually celebrate, being celebrated in these uh, uh, important uh, gatherings? The digital revolution is very dramatic. China's already at uh, not 5G, but 5.5G, uh, because uh, the uh, network is 10 times faster than it was uh, even when 5G was introduced a few years ago. And soon China will be leading 6G. Now, uh, other countries want the technological advancement of the digital age as well. You know, one of my favorite initiatives in the world is the Belt and Road Initiative. Uh, it's the idea that countries should invest jointly in connectivity, building new ports, uh, building new fast rail lines, uh, building uh, transport linkages, building fiber linkages, building renewable energy linkages. So when the leaders meet, they should talk about these real things. Those don't depend on the United States. Uh, so you can still have the very important regional uh, discussions. And for example, uh, China's relationship with ASEAN uh, is extremely important for uh, both regions, I should say. Uh, ASEAN needs China, it needs the technology, it needs the connectivity, it needs the uh, advancement, it needs the investment. Uh, for China, ASEAN is a, a natural huge market of uh, more than 750 million people. That should be discussed. The relationships between uh, China and Latin America are very strong. China is the main trading partner of the Latin American members of APEC. Uh, this is surprising. It's not the United States. It's China that's the main trading partner. China buys a lot of food grain and feed grain from Latin America, a lot of natural resources. China is a provider of advanced technologies. So that's a very fruitful relationship, very important.